sometimes with dog shit, you either got to clean it right away mm -hmm. or you got to like just sit it outside, wait a month, let it dry off, and the, then you can just like kind of crack or off. Yeah, the, you know, the stuff on the bottom of the shoe. So I always have old sneakers around just in case something like that happens. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Great, great. I'm Judah Friedlander, and I'm challenging the world's top artificial intelligence robots for the sake of humanity. This is Judah versus the machines. Today I'm at a company called Operator. I have no idea what they do, but I've mastered the game Operation, and I expect to win this challenge. Hey, what's up? I'm here to meet Operator. Go ahead and grab the seat behind you. Hang out for a minute. What year did your plant die? There's things that computers do really well and things mm -hmm. that humans do really well, and we're really trying to get these two sides to complement each other. I met with engineer Matt Stanton to learn how Operator helps people shop for clothes and who he was wearing. A machine learning engineer. Yep. So you're not a machine, but Probably you help no. machines learn. Yes, exactly. You start by just telling us a little bit about what it is that you're looking for. Okay. That gets fed into an automated system that figures out things like what kind of product it is, and then tries to match you against the selection of all the experts who are online at that point. I shop about once every six years. Okay. But, I, but I'm a helpful guy, so okay. I'm ready. All right. So where is it? Where do we go? I wanted to know more, so I walked around until I saw some people pretending to play pool. It's a good shot, right? Yeah. yeah. Pretty good. Yes. Are you operator? I work for operator, yes. Where is operator? Right here, right in front this? of you all. Well, not this table specifically, but uh. all of it. This is all operator. Okay. Whoa. What are these? They're little phone booths. First time I've been in a phone booth that doesn't have a phone. Mm. Does this thing like take off or anything? Or? Looks like it would, but it doesn't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Push out. I'm, I'm pushing. I wasn't ready for the challenge yet. I had to take one of operator's expert quizzes to test my knowledge. It was about shoes. We're gonna give you a part of our, our men's fashion shoe expert quiz. Okay, I'm gonna just move this. Yeah, sure. I don't drink water. Uh, I just don't. All right, so um, what makes you a shoe expert? Uh, I have feet, so. Well, what are your favorite shoe trends going on right now out there? I, I don't know what that means. Okay, so. So, so am, I, am I an expert? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Obviously, yes, I was. It was time to help some people shop and show the machine who was boss. So we've pulled together some shoppers. We want to put you and operator head to head. Okay. Maybe see, you know, what the shopper prefers. I already know what they need. Yeah. Bring them in. Hi, I'm Aniza. My name's Jara. Jason, my name's Judah. I need a gown. So I'm looking for some color for my bedroom. Yeah, I've been looking for a new baseball cap. Okay. Do you want mine? Uh, but you're usually asleep when you're in your bedroom. Yeah, it's... Uh, so the color scheme is really not that important. So I like to feel refreshed when I get up. That's easy. You just need a fancy gown. Right. Done. Do you want a hat with adjustable sizing on it? Oh, yeah, I have a big head. Got it. I was ready to challenge this shoe shopping robot app thing. To find the stuff they needed, I had a trick up my sleeve. Google. Jera is a descendant of King Saul. So she's royalty. Now, Lisa is from Austria. Are there volcanoes in Austria? Jason has a large head. Perfect. Here's how it works. Shoppers describe something they're looking for. I shop for it online, operator does the same. The shoppers pick their favorites without knowing if they are mine or operators. So it's officially science. So let's bring up the first product. It's a unique and flattering silhouette that drapes and moves to perfection. Let's check out the other product. It's a classic gown fit for a queen. The color is super on trend. Adds just a little splash to your room without being too loud. All right, here's what we have to say about this. Now, Austria may have no volcanoes, but for anyone who has ever lived in Austria, they will wake up refreshed and energized by this colorful artwork. Wow. Um... This five panel cap is the definition of cool. Let's check out the other product. The perfect baseball cap for the modern gentleman who admits he has a big head. Hmm. It's a tough choice. The other one is a lot softer. As much as I like my head being an enormous baseball, 
kind of prefer the other one. I'm gonna go with the black one. I'm gonna go with the black one. I'm choosing the product on the right. Mm, so your choice is on the right. Yeah, the right one. All right. That's a kind of dress that you might see someone else there wearing the exact same dress. Is there only one of those dresses? Oh, there's only one, and I have access to it. Whoa. I actually painted that, too. The other one is a lot softer. I prefer the other one. You told me you wanted a baseball cap, and that's literally what this is. And you admitted that you have a, a very large head and that most hats don't fit you. This hat will fit you. Well, I made a lot of special friends this trip. Troy, the guy with the desk and the dead plant, the guy with whom I had an awkward handshake, but I didn't come away with the victory. I don't think I lost to Operator. I think three humans let me down with their horrible decisions. I wonder if anyone can see me.